Good morning students. I hope you all are fine. Today we will start another chapter of our unit that is consumer behavior and demand. The chapter name is consumer's equilibrium. Now consumer equilibrium kya hai? For example, if I drink a glass of water, then I will stop beyond drinking a bit of water. For example, a glass of water, two glasses of water or maybe three glasses of water. Then why did I stop? अब एक कस्टमर एक पर्टिकुलर कमोडिटी की कितनी क्वांटिटी कंज्यूम करता है इसका मतलब वो कब एक ऐसी पोजीशन पे आ जाता है व्हेन ही इज नॉट हैविंग एनी अर्ज टू चेंज हिज कंजम्पशन उसको बोलते हैं कंज्यूमर इक्विलिब्रियम अब देखते हैं कंज्यूमर क्या अ कंज्यूमर इज अ पर्सन हु यूजेस एनी गुड एंड सर्विस फॉर द सेटिस्फैक्शन ऑफ हिज और हर वांट एंड व्हेन अ पर्सन इज सेटिस्फाइड it means that he has achieved his equilibrium it means the state of rest this state of rest means that there is no urge to change his existing level of consumption given the prices of the commodity and income of the consumer iska matlab the prices are not going to change at that particular time and his income is also not changing at that particular time and after a particular quantity he has consumed he has no urge to change his level of consumption Now what is consumer equilibrium? It is a situation in which consumer spends his income in such a way that he maximizes his satisfaction. I'm buying something, I'll spend that much that I can maximize my satisfaction. What is consumer behavior? It is a particular behavior in which he is spending his income so that he derives maximum satisfaction with his limited income. With his limited income and that income is spent on various goods and services it means consumer equilibrium or consumer behavior when we talk of equilibrium this means there is no urge to change his existing level of consumption given the prices of the commodity and his income now let us focus on the two approaches to calculate this consumer equilibrium how do we arrive at consumer equilibrium we basically have two approaches the very first is utility approach or cardinal utility analysis another one is indifference curve approach or ordinal utility analysis let us study them one by one the very first was given by marshall this utility approach or cardinal utility utility analysis utility can be measured quantitatively he said that it can be measured quantitatively example one util two utils three utils four utils for example i have got three utils of satisfaction by drinking this glass of juice many glass juice piya and i have what i have received is three utils so it means units of utility is called utils he gave a unit to utility for example we can give we have given the units to iron is kg we measure it in kg we measure a cloth in meter likewise we measure the utility in utils so it can be measured in absolute numbers see one util two utils three utils right the other one was opposite to it so here cardinal means absolute numbers we came to ordinal approach it said that it is a qualitative approach this is a quantitative approach this is a qualitative approach this was given by marshall this was given by hicks and allen and it is named after him that is hicksian approach so we have three names indifference curve approach utility analysis ordinal utility analysis or the hicksian approach he said this is quantitative he says it is a psychological concept so satisfaction is not quantitative it cannot be measured it is a qualitative thing so it means we can have preferences we can have ranks for example if i say i prefer tea over coffee so it means i am giving the rank 1 to tea and rank 2 to coffee i hope this is clear to you now let us get on to understand what is utility and what are the features of utility so now let us understand utility utility it is the want satisfying power of a commodity it means ke aapne jab ek product consume kiya how much satisfaction have you derived i'm not talking of that it is in utils or it is a qualitative aspect i'm talking of only satisfaction you measure it either by cardinal approach or by ordinal approach let us understand the features of utility the very first is utility depends upon urgency ya intensity of want ye beta sabse important point hai samajhne ke liye pure pure hamare chapter mein 
अब हम कहते हैं इंटेंसिटी या अर्जेंसी का मतलब है तीव्रता फॉर एग्जाम्पल आप जिम हो कराए तो अब आपको भूख और प्यास दोनों लगी है तो तीव्रता किस चीज की है उस टाइम पे आप मूवी देखना प्रेफर नहीं करेंगे पानी पीना ज्यादा प्रेफर करेंगे सो अ पेन विल गिव यू मोर सेटिस्फेक्शन ड्यूरिंग योर एग्जामिनेशन रेदर देन ड्यूरिंग वॉचिंग मूवीज जब आप मूवी देखने गए हैं तो पेन का उतना अर्जेंसी आपको इंटेंसिटी ऑफ वॉन्ट नहीं है इंटेंसिटी ऑफ डिजायर भी हम इसको बोल सकते हैं लेकिन जब आप एग्जामिनेशन में हैं तो पेन विल गिव यू मोर सेटिस्फेक्शन सेकेंड इज इट इज सब्जेक्टिव सब्जेक्टिव का मतलब क्या है यू कैन नॉट ऑब्जेक्टिफाई इट इट वेरीज फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन वेरीज फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन एग्जाम्पल इफ आई एम थर्स्टी देन टू क्वेंच माई थर्स्ट आई नीड वॉटर एंड इफ यू आर हंग्री देन टू फुलफिल योर एपिटाइट यू वॉन्ट चपातीज गेटिंग माई पॉइंट यू कैन नॉट ऑब्जेक्टिफाई इट इट इज सब्जेक्टिव बिकॉज इट वेरीज फ्रॉम पर्सन टू पर्सन एंड सी इट इज कंज्यूमर बिहेवियर एंड बिहेवियर विल ऑलवेज वेरी नेक्स्ट कम्स यूटिलिटी इज मेजरेबल हमने पढ़ा कंज्यूमर इक्विलिब्रियम को नोट करने के लिए समझने के लिए हमारे पास दो अप्रोचेस हैं कार्डिनल एंड ऑडिनल लास्ट यूटिलिटी इज नॉट असेंशियली यूजफुल इट मीन्स अ प्रोडक्ट में भी यूजफुल टू यू और मे नॉट बी एंड इट डज नॉट मीन्स दैट इट विल गिव यू मोर सेटिस्फेक्शन इट मीन्स हायर यूटिलिटी डज नॉट मीन्स हायर यूजफुलनेस हायर यूजफुलनेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ आई टॉक ऑफ एल्कोहलिक देन alcohol will give him more utility but it is not useful to a teetotaler it means wo non alcoholic jo alcohol nahi consume karta getting my point ab hum apne in unit ko do chapters mein bantenge the very first is cardinal utility approach or utility analysis second would be indifference curve approach or ordinal analysis or hicksian approach ठीक है जी तो विल स्टार्ट विद द फर्स्ट वन दैट इज कार्डिनल यूटिलिटी अप्रोच और यूटिलिटी एनालिसिस नाउ विल फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड द कंसेप्ट ऑफ यूटिलिटी अर्लियर वी हैड डन क्या किया अभी हमने पांच मिनट पहले अप्रोचेज टू मेजर यूटिलिटी नाउ वी आर डूइंग कंसेप्ट ऑफ यूटिलिटी तो कंसेप्ट ऑफ यूटिलिटी में हमारे पास दो आते हैं द वेरी फर्स्ट इज टोटल यूटिलिटी द अदर वन इज मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी आई रिपीट द वेरी फर्स्ट इज टोटल यूटिलिटी द अदर वन इज मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी हम इसको बोलते हैं टी यू और हम इसको बोलते हैं एम यू टी यू एंड एम यू नाउ यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड जहां पर भी हमें बेटा पूरी इकोनॉमिक्स में टी और एम का रिलेशनशिप आएगा टोटल और मार्जिनल का तो आपने समझना है कि वो सेम है वो सेम है चाहे वो यूटिलिटी है चाहे वो कॉस्ट है इधर इट इज रेवेन्यू इधर इट इज प्रोडक्ट और एनीथिंग द रिलेशनशिप विल बी सेम बिटवीन टी एंड एम अब वो रिलेशनशिप कैसे है समझिए देखिए यूटिलिटी और रेवेन्यू में रिलेशनशिप नहीं कह रहा टी और एम में रिलेशनशिप सेम कह रहा हूं तो हम देखते हैं पहले कि टी यू क्या करता है टी यू इज सबमिशन एम यू इट इज सबमिशन एम यू या हम बोल सकते हैं टी यू इज इक्वल टू एम यू फ्रॉम वन यूनिट प्लस एम यू फ्रॉम टू यूनिट प्लस एम यू फ्रॉम एन एथ यूनिट तो यानी कि हर सक्सेसिव यूनिट से आने वाली यूटिलिटी को हम बोलेंगे टोटल यूटिलिटी क्या बोलेंगे टोटल यूटिलिटी तो इसका मतलब टोटल यूटिलिटी का मतलब हो गया टोटल सेटिस्फैक्शन डिराइव टोटल सेटिस्फैक्शन डिराइव फ्रॉम कंजम्पन ऑफ ऑल द यूनिट फॉर एग्जाम्पल यू हैव टेकन टू ग्लासेज ऑफ वाटर यू कंज्यूम टू ग्लासेज ऑफ वाटर तो दोनों से आपको कितनी यूटिलिटी टोटल आई दैट इज कॉल्ड टोटल यूटिलिटी नाउ वी स्विच ओवर टू मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी मार्जिनल यूटिलिटी मीन्स टी यू एन माइनस टी यू एन माइनस वन दिस मीन्स टोटल यूटिलिटी ऑफ एन एथ आइटम माइनस टोटल यूटिलिटी ऑफ एन एथ माइनस वन आइटम इट मीन्स इफ आई एम कैलकुलेटिंग एम यू ऑफ सेकेंड आइटम सो आई विल पुट डाउन दी वैल्यूज टी यू ऑफ सेकेंड आइटम माइनस टी यू ऑफ सेकेंड माइनस वन आइटम और वी कैन से टी यू ऑफ सेकेंड आइटम माइनस टी यू ऑफ फर्स्ट आइटम गेटिंग माई पॉइंट टी यू ऑफ सेकेंड आइटम माइनस टी यू ऑफ फर्स्ट आइटम लाइक वाइज वी कैन पुट द वैल्यूज ऑफ n right now this formula is used 
when consecutive or orderly consumption is made it means one unit second unit third unit fourth unit fifth unit sixth unit we have another option the other option is when consumption is not consecutive it means first unit second unit third unit fifth unit and fifth and sixth are consumed together they are consumed together in this case we will calculate mu as change in tu upon change in quantity it means we will take an average change in tu upon change in quantity okay please note it down pause the video and note it down these formulas will be helpful to you let us continue and see on schedule so that we can understand this in a better form i'm raising the board till then you can note down the formulas and the relationship too now see if i write consumption of good x okay i have 1 2 3 4 5 6 seven units for say and i give you mu fx it means from every successive unit so mu kya ho gaya utility derived from consumption of every successive unit every successive unit to main yahan pe aapko mu de raha hu 10 8 6 4 2 0 and minus 2 right now you have to calculate tu we know tu is summation mu or mu1 plus mu2 up to mun it means mu of first unit second unit and nth unit so let us see here it is mu1 it means 10 so from first unit our mu and tu are same for second unit we will have mu1 plus mu of 2 it means 10 plus 8 is equal to 18 for third we have mu1 plus mu of 2 plus mu of 3 10 plus 8 plus 6 is equal to 24 likewise we'll add on 28 30 30 and 28 please note it down and see if you don't understand the calculations pause the video rewind it and then see it again i'll give you 2 seconds please note it down got my point now i reverse the question what i do is if you are given tu if you are given tu and you have to calculate mu now let us see how you do it note down the values So T U is ten, eighteen, twenty four, twenty eight, thirty, thirty, twenty eight. Now let us calculate M U. I'll tell you both the formulas. I'll tell you it from both the formulas. Very first is I said ton ton like, you know, it sounds like ton ton minus one, ton ton minus two, right? So this formula T U N minus T U N minus one. So what does it say? C T U of first unit minus T U of first minus one unit. Is equal to T U of first unit minus T U of zero unit. We don't have zero unit, so I will write ten minus zero is equal to ten. Ten minus zero is equal to ten. For second unit, I'll replace this n 
this one by 2. So it comes out to be Tu of second unit minus Tu of second minus 1 is equal to Tu of second unit minus 2 minus 1 is 1 Tu of first unit. So it means 18 minus 10 is equal to 8. Likewise 24 minus 18 is equal to 6. 28 minus 24 is equal to 4. 30 minus 28 is equal to 2. 30 minus 30 is equal to 0. 28 minus 30 is equal to minus 2. Now you will be surprised to know how come the MU is minus 2? How can it be negative? We'll come to this point. Okay, we'll come to this point later. Clear? Now let us take another example. Here, the consumption was consecutive. See, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Now, we'll take an example where the consumption will not be in consecutive order. It means 2 or more units will be consumed together. 2 or more units will be consumed together. Let us calculate. See, now we will use the formula change in Tu upon change in quantity. Right? Please write down 1, 2, 3, 4 and 6. It means 5th and 6th unit are consumed together. Like, write down the values of TUS. And remember these are all utils because we are calculating this on the basis of utility analysis or cardinal utility analysis. Please write down the values. 40, 60, 78, 94, 108. I repeat 40, 60, 78, 94 and 108. Now let us use this formula change in TU upon change in Q. Here change in TU is 40 and change in Q is 1. From 0 to 1 we have risen. So it means MU will be 40. Now the change in TU is 20. It means 60 minus 40 is 20 divided by change in quantity. Quantity is from 1 to 2. So 2 minus 1 is 1. So it will come 20. Next is change in TU 78 to 60. It means 18. Number of units is 1. So it comes out to be 18. Next is 78, 94, 16 units, oh, sorry, 16 utils. And the number of units that have changed are 1. So it comes out to be 16. Now see here, the total utility, the change in total utility is 108 minus 94. It means 14. But the units that have changed are 2. Here it was 1, 1, 1. Here it is 2. So we would write 2, it means 7. So when the consumption is not consecutive, you are consuming more than one commodity or one unit at a time. Then we would use this formula. We can use this formula for consecutive consumption also, but we cannot use this formula for non-consecutive consumption. I hope all this is clear to you. Have a nice day. Thank you.